Welcome everybody, home team, live, and this is my beautiful wife, Jessica. I'm Dr. Raul Serrano, for those of you who don't know me. And this is a time where we get to come live to you guys and just share with you guys what we do in our house. We want to support you guys and really just uh, navigate the spiritual, mental, and physical challenges of raising a healthy family. And we had a ton of fun last week. Last week, we talked about seven seven different items in our kitchen that we used to keep us healthy. So we decided this week, let's go into the other into the pantry and we're gonna pick 10, we, we've chosen 10 items here, 10 things that are easy lateral shifts to, uh, to help our family's nutrition get healthier. So as you guys come on and if you're watching this, uh, share it, press that share button, help, help uh, other people uh, just raise a healthy family. And, and share this. So, a couple things. First of all, I want to explain what lateral shifts are. You might be thinking, what, what's a lateral shift? See, when it comes to nutrition, I believe we believe there's two different shifts you can make. There's vertical shifts and there's lateral shifts. Lateral shifts are easy. Lateral shifts are things that you're, you're already doing, right? Vertical, vertical shifts are harder. An example of a vertical shift would be me telling you, hey, you know, I know you like to eat a lot of ice cream. So instead of you to eat an ice cream, Let's uh, take your, your kids and not give them ice cream, let's give them broccoli. That's a vertical, that's a, that's a big jump, that's a vertical shift. A lateral shift is what we're gonna talk about today. These are things you're already doing. These are things that, hey, you're already eating certain things. All you have to do is move laterally, switch from one thing to another to make it healthier. These are easy, everybody can do these. Yeah. And this is, you know, a lot of people believe or think that our kids never eat chips or they never have anything good or, or um, sweets. And that's not true at all. We, our kids eat a ton of sweets, but they're healthy sweets. They eat yeah. a ton of stuff just like everybody else, but, but they're healthy. So. And a lot of these things, I guess you would consider junk food. So we're kind of debunking that myth that there's no sweet, salty, crunchy, yummy things that we can eat. So and There's absolutely. Yeah. So we have 10 of those here. And at the end, I'm going to give you my bonus. Like always, I like having a little bonus in there. So number one, we're going to start with uh, the easiest shift you can make is the number one lateral shift is oils. Instead of using canola oil, which we know it's toxic, it's damaging to the body, vegetable oils, uh, things like, um, you know, just any of the rancid oils that are out there that are man-made, we wanna shift to the, to the, to the other alternative. So what are some other alternatives there? Yes, yeah, so use? this one's pretty easy. We just have a couple oils. Um, the first one is olive oil, which most of you guys probably have in your pantry. The one thing to keep in mind with this is that we wanna do this, um, we usually use this raw actually, like on salads as a salad dressing. On low temperatures, for high temperatures, we have coconut oil. So this one happens to be organic virgin coconut oil, unrefined medium heat, really just, um, Whatever coconut oil you can get your hands on. This one I use for pretty much anything. Yep. One that I like is a lot of people don't don't use is beef tallow. If it's grass fed, you can get 100% grass fed beef tallow, and that's amazing. It gives a, a lot of a different flavor to the food depending on what you're cooking with. Your your butters also yeah. fall, would fall in this category. 100% grass fed butters. Uh, that would be all under the oil category. Avocado oil is another great. And oil. the tallow. I mean, this is really good for just sautéing. It gives that extra flavor. Like you mm -hmm. said. So oils, change Number one those oils. Out. Number two is our chips, potato chips, tortilla chips. You have all the Lay's, the Dorito stuff out there. We would not touch that. Now huh? why? Why do we not touch those brands? Well, because the, if, if you look at the ingredients, which we're all about reading ingredients, they're full, filled with, uh, with toxic chemicals, they're filled with GMO uh, corn, and just, there's just all the stuff that's in there that's unnatural. And, and, and the next thing is what we just talked about, the oils. So. We have a couple, two, two bags here that we use in our house. And can you show those? Yeah, and the big thing, it took us a while. I, I feel like I haven't eaten chips in years because most even the healthy chips or the veggie straws that's still um, cooked in soybean oil or um, canola, oil. canola oil. So we found this awesome brand. It's Jackson's Honest, since I'm sure that's backwards on your screen. So Jackson's Honest is really nice. The ingredients for this are non-GMO potatoes, organic coconut oil, and sea salt. That is it. So we have... This one happens to be sea salt. We have the tortilla chips. So now we can make nachos <laughs> with our beans and our um, grass and sour cream. What else? Grass and cheese, cheese raw cheese. Like it's awesome. So yellow corn chips. Jackson's Honest. So lateral shift chips number two. Yes. Your kids can have <laughs> chips. Just make sure they're, they're, they're made with good oils and the ingredients should be simple uh, like, like those. Number three, it's 
Popcorn. It's summertime. Yes. Movie time. Movie time. It's late nights with the kids out on the couch. So can we have popcorn? I get that question a lot. And the answer is yes. yes. But you have to make the lateral shift. You can't have the the regular conventional popcorn out there. You can have, have make your own popcorn. And, and we have a, an example here. So this is super fun. You get your big stainless steel pot. I put some coconut oil in there, usually about three tablespoons. For or, b- or butter if it's grass fed. Or butter. And we have our cup of um, the sprouted. This is organic non-GMO sprouted popcorn. This one is from Thrive Market. I think we're going to put the link up for you guys. We'll put a, a link up there for Thrive uh, on, on the, um, in, the, in the notes below. And I think this stuff is so good. And the kids love making it with you. It literally takes 10 minutes while you start your movie. Yeah, so that was number three. Number four is chocolate. Who loves chocolate? Me. Um, give me chocolate. So <laughs> so as far as chocolate goes, you know, we looked around for a lot of different chocolates. How are we not getting like stars and likes? I know. Stars? Come on. Yeah, chocolate? Know. Really? No hearts? I'm no, no thumbs up there? They haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So the chocolate... It's uh, you, you don't want to go Hershey's or Reese's or all of those brands. They're full of sugar, 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 and the chocolates are very, there we go. We got to have some hearts there. And, the, and then um, it's just that high quality chocolate. So we have a couple examples here. Okay, so Lily's, learn that name, Lily's Chocolate. This one's 70% dark chocolate. And what's great about this is it's vegan, non-GMO, and sweetened with stevia. And we've talked about stevia before on other um Stevia and urethritol there, so. Yeah, a couple other ingredients, but it's one of the best ones you can get. Whole Foods, Publix is selling them now. Super easy to get your hands on. You can also get the Lily's dark chocolate uh, chips. And this is for bacon. You can melt this. You can dip your strawberries in there. You can have a... Uh, a lot of great dessert. There we go. Now we're getting some hearts. Yeah, some so, frozen bananas and chocolate. Oh my gosh, the, ki- the kids love that stuff. So chocolates, you can have your chocolate and it tastes great. So if you haven't tried Lily's, I would, I would, I would recommend try Lily's. Okay, so, so milk. We just heard a story. Number five is milk. I think it was Jared, right? Stephanie's fiance, Jared. He's telling us about this group of <clears throat> um, four kids. They have four kids. They're all boys. And he remembers at the dinner table, they used to each drink their gallon of milk. So I don't know if you guys know some of these people that they go through gallons every week with their kids. So how do we make the lateral shift with milk? Yeah. Well, well first of all, a couple of things on milk. We, we, we choose our dairy. When we choose our dairy, we, we're going to go raw. And if we're going to do dairy, we'll do our yogurts, our cheeses. We'll make that lateral shift. But when it comes to actual milk, we don't drink a lot of milk. But if we did, it would be raw. So the lateral shift we've made is we go to almond milk. Milk. We have almond milk and or we do a, uh, or coconut milk. Almond milk or coconut milk, those are our two options that we use when it comes to the milk itself. And this one we love, Uh, this is one of the best ones we found. You can make this at home, just Google a a recipe for almond milk. And uh, this one has organic almonds, water, and a little bit of sea salt, and so I cut a side gum as a preservative. So it's great. Almond milk is a great uh, lateral shift. Once again, these are things that you can do and they're easy. You're already doing the milk, just make the lateral shift. Okay. Number six, mm. everybody loves pancakes for breakfast. I love pancakes. Kids love pancakes. It's but, a Saturday um, morning. Yes, but, but one of the things you can't do, you can't do the typical flour pancakes. So the lateral shift is you go to... This new thing. Paleo baking flour. This is one of many. They actually have like pre-made mixes, especially mm-hmm. on Thrive Market, of some great paleo pancakes. Um, this Yay, one is super hearts. easy, and this actually tastes good, and they're fluffy, and it's because this certain brand has a little bit of the tapioca flour in it as well. So if you're looking for those good pancakes, um, we found that this one works really nice, paired with your gravy, your darker amber maple syrup. There with a the butter on there. Okay. Share this. There's so many families out there that are struggling. They don't. They don't think they can make these lateral shifts because they don't know there are things out there that exist that they that they can give their their families. Uh, you know these these nice, great, healthy stuff for their kids. It's so good for kids. Yeah. I know a lot of times we want to put them on these diets where we're taking out all the good tasting things when we can still do it. And like I said, all this stuff is pretty much pre-made, ready to use. Yeah, so it's easy, lateral shifts. Number six is popsicles. Stop going to the store and getting the sugary popsicles that are just going to wire your kids up. Let's get some real popsicles, just like they used to do back in the old days, okay. whatever the old days are. <laughs> We're part of it. I know, so we're for stuff. popsicles, easy. Target has these great silicone. I mean, these are all over the place now. But the popsicle makers, this is great because we'll make a juice or a smoothie. I make two batches. One the kids drink. One I fill up in the popsicle little maker. I freeze it. 
the day before and the next day we have popsicles. So this works great with the avocado mousse we talked about before, the recipe, just freeze it. Any extra smoothies, just freeze watermelon it. And lemon, lem, watermelon and lemons are great in lime. there. Watermelon and lime. Lime, sorry, lime. Uh, you could do strawberries, you could do, I mean, all sorts of popsicles. Coconut stuff, I mean, it is great. Be creative and use those popsicles. So, um, so that's, add, that's the next one. Add your stevia if your kids like really sweet stuff. It's perfect. Yep. Next one's bread. People say, oh my goodness, you know, you you say you don't eat bread and all this stuff. Yeah, we typically don't as adults, but our kids absolutely, would, they, you know, we have them eat bread. But guess what? It's not your your fluffy bread. The wonder it's bread. The That's wonder what bread. I grew up on, yeah, the white wonder bread. Yeah, so, yeah, we don't do that anymore. And our kids that probably don't even know what that is. Actually, I know they don't know what that is, but the bread that we get comes in a bag from the farm. And it's, you know, it's only half of it's left, but it's neat because when you get this bread, I could literally take this out to the, to the garage and do curls with it. It's so heavy. It's like a pound and a half, two, actually two pounds almost of bread, real bread. It's dense, it's nutrient dense. You just cut a little bit slice, you toast it, you put that butter on there. Or some raw cheese. Real cheese. cheese. Oh, you can make kids real love cheese it. again. Um, you can make pizzas, a little sauce, a little turkey pepperoni, some of that raw cheese. It's been awesome. Guys, these Sprouted are good. This is good stuff here. Come on. This, this All is right. from the farm. What's this next? is from the farm, and we, we it's, it's Full Circle Farms. If anybody uh, wants to know, we'll put a link below if, if they ask. It's called Living Bread. It's sprouted. Uh, soda is a big one. Yeah. We don't. We're not big on sodas. We we stay away from that. But you know, a lot of you know my story. I grew up on. Uh, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, sodas, junk food. I mean, that's how I grew up. So I do like a soda every so often. Uh, we don't currently have the one I prefer, which is Virgil's, but there is another one. Well, before you talk oh. about Virgil's, there's a Virgil's that's called Zero, and that's the one sweetened with stevia. See, yeah, and it has the least amount of ingredients. It tastes phenomenal. The next best option out there that I've seen that we get sometimes is the Zevia brand. Zevia. It's a soda made with stevia, so it doesn't have any of the sh uh, all the sugars on there. So, great option. Our kids might have this once every couple of weeks, and we'll split one with all three kids or something like that for a special dinner or something. Or birthday parties. It's great to throw some of those in a cooler, and our kids think they're sodas, so it works yes. out. Or on the boat, if you're going on the boat. Yes. That's another one. And number 10, the last one, is going to be what we talked about earlier. The lateral shift here is easy. You, you, everybody loves cheese, or at least most people, I think, love cheese. Kids love cheese. Kids, kids love cheese, so instead of getting the Sargentos and the stringy stuff and all that that, that junk, uh, you want to get cheese that is raw, raw cheeses. Uh, this is a manchego that's raw, this is a cheddar that's raw, and it comes in, in blocks, so we cut it, up, cut it up or shred it ourselves. So stop the shredded stuff that you get at the store and, and make it yourself. So anything else on the cheeses there? Yeah, and a lot of people kind of freak out with the word raw, but they do have it at... Whole Foods, Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, really. You don't yeah. have to like go underground to get this <laughs> raw cheese. Stuff. We get it from. <laughs> we get. We do get the raw cheeses from uh, from uh, our farm, but we also go to Whole Foods and they have raw cheeses as well. So that was ten lateral shifts that every family can make. You can you can literally shift over to the healthy stuff. But here comes my bonus. So this one's for the parents. This is not for the kids. But what can you? What's the best thing you can have with cheese and even maybe even chocolates? Well, you, it down here, it's the vino. It's <laughs> wine, guys. If you're if you're trying to uh, uh -huh. to have a, a low carb lifestyle and you still want some wine, stop getting the cheap wine out there. It's it's uh, it's it's just the way they ferment it, the way they uh, they, their whole process, and they add, they put additives in there and sulfur. They have all this stuff in this junk out there. This wine I just recently found. It's called Fit Vine. Fit Vine. And it is a long fermentation process, a dry, long fermentation process. So because it's a longer fermentation process, it literally takes almost all of the sugar out of the, the wine. And, uh, and it's, it tastes phenomenal. It's and good. yes, she's not a big wine drinker. She liked it. So um, Fit Vine, this is the cab. They have a Pinot. They, have, they do have a, some white, white wines as well. Uh, very low in, in any, actually... They've te they test all their wines, so there's no pesticides, uh, there's no additives in there. So if you if you do like a wine, find a wine that's 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 uh, pesticide free. There's no additives and it's dry, fermented long, long, you know, just like they used to do back in the days, like the way it's wine's supposed to be. So that's the bonus for you guys. Uh, last thing I want to say, and I'll let Hold you on, I want to answer up. some questions. Is that okay? Before they answer, okay. we answer some questions here. 
But uh, last thing I want to say, we're taking all of these videos and we're actually created a YouTube channel that uh, you can go to Ignite Chiropractic and Wellness. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel and all these videos are going to be on there. We're also going to add health tips. Uh, we're going to there's testimonies on there and there's also going to be a 1% a, a better uh, videos that we're going to start. Uh, I'm going to start producing on there. So it's a uh, it's small steps to ignite your health. Get one percent better. So we'll answer some questions and go from question. there. I'm going to grab something that goes along. I can't read the questions from here. Z will not eat the sprouted the bread. The sprouted bread. I'm not sure if you've had the sprouted bread from maybe the farm. Another option, an alternative that's a little easier to swallow if they're not used to it, is that uh, Ezekiel. Bread, I noticed they have this at the Publix. Um, this is a great transition because it's a English muffin. This one happens to be cinnamon raisin. So put some butter on that or even the regular sprouted with some peanut butter. Um, just, you know, a little bit of added touch there to maybe see if they'll try that out. Yeah, this is a great transition. Uh, I've had, we have had some kids that come over and, and have stayed. And, uh, you know, or when we go on vacation and they, they will have this one. They won't eat our, this one. So this is a great transition. There's a lot of... Uh, and this is a complete protein, by the way. When you look at it, it is not gluten free. We're, this is full sprouted. Yeah, full sprouted. Protein. So, so that's 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 an option there. If you have any questions, any comments, ask them below. We will answer them either here live if we see them or throughout the week. So, is, is there anything else on there? I think that might be it. Any other questions? Awesome. All right. We'll any questions, comments? Great. Thank We're you guys. We're going to do nine o'clock. This is our new time. New time, nine o'clock. Next week we'll be on a cruise. So we will see if we're going to be on here at 9 o'clock. We'll try from the cruise. Uh, it'd be really fun to do that. I don't know if we'll have Wi-Fi or the opportunity to do that. If we can, we will. If not, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, have a good night. Have a good night, Bye, everybody. Thank you for being on. Like, press the share button, and give us some hearts there. Thank you, guys. Can you press button?